I have a question. Crafters, have you ever been playing Minecraft and hear some crazy sounds that just make you want to jump out your seat, make you take off your headphones and be like, WTF, what was that? Well, it's me, Building J, as the King Cheese calls me. Today, we are reviewing some of the scariest noises in Minecraft. Or so I think. Coming in at number 10, zombies. Now, zombies may not be the most scariest, but guys, come on. Why do all the zombies sound like they hit that good Chiba and they're on a wave? Like, with that one monotone, bruh. If that wasn't bad enough, we gotta deal with the baby zombies with the high pitch, bruh, running at us at full speed. Like, sheesh let alone the water zombies. Yes, I know they are called drowned. I just like how water, so uh, water zombies sound, okay? Leave me be. The bubbling noises that they make with the bruh, called the bubble bruh, that sound is even the worst. F just for me, the bubbled bruh I hear from my bedroom, I just can't seem to get him out for some reason. And believe me, I've searched for him high and low without destroying my glass house. You know, I kinda like that term. The bubbled bruh. I'm gonna use that round the homie brand for show. Bubbled bruh? Yeah, man. You wanna sip on that bubbled bruh? <laughs> Going on to number nine, we got phantoms. Nothing is worse than hearing the screech of a phantom because of what? Lack of sleep. Now, come on. They're like the vampires of the game. Just straight up blood suckers. There is something about them. Hearing them just makes me go insane. Y'all know the days where we just don't wanna sleep. Either where we're just watching Netflix, on Facebook scrolling, or on the Minecraft Nightmare channel. See what I did there? <laughs> well, all jokes aside, really though, you're just spending your days minding underground and honestly, you lose track of time. In my world, Cheese King aka Connor found the skeleton spawner. Boy, when I tell you I saw that sh his setup was bonkers. Anyways, we're down there for hours on end. He's leveling up. I'm mining for goodies. Extra Sierra for me, please. Miners, when I say it was time to go, it was time. Screech! Oh, hell no. Nah. It's a phantom, bro. You gotta get a bed on you? Nah, sh if you don't got a bed on you, it, it, it's, it's a wrap. Like, you just gotta go. Now, hearing the sounds definitely made us stop, run to our bed, no Cap. We had to get the hell out of Dodge, and there was like three to five phantoms, whether it being Java or Bedrock. Phantom screeches, yep, are definitely scary. Going on to number eight, the gas. Ooh, this is a goodie. I love the gas, but I also hate him as well, because it's a deadly ass mob, but it sounds like a menacing child, sometimes out of a scary movie. Like, damn, I told you guys about my first nether experience, right? It was crazy seeing the gas, let alone hearing it. What also makes it so scary is it can destroy a nether portal. Like, dude, leave that to the creeps. Hold the TLC. I don't know what is worse. The fact is that you, as soon as you get into the nether, you hear them floating around you and be ready. Sometimes you don't even hear them. You, you don't even see them before it's too late. They sound so far away and boom, it, it's, they're all up in your ass, like looking to clean you out. Make sure you have some good type of stone to build around your portal. The last thing you want to hear is that childish ghost giggling from the gas and you're trapped in the nether to suffer a very short death. Going on to number seven, nether portals. Okay, nether portals. I did make a mistake of putting one in my house before we had to break it down and I had to put it in my basement for two reasons. The squishing vacuum noises it constantly makes it just doesn't stop. Two, the sound that you hear when you teleport it, it's not that bad, but what about when something else is teleporting with you into your house? A flame cube is definitely a no-go in your house, or at least mine. My bedroom was close to that, this at one point, and I wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed, I tell you. The eerie sounds and the thought of something uh, again, this portal just had to be moved to my basement. No doubt, far away from any damage and far away from my damn bed so I could sleep through the night stress-free. Which lead me down to say our number six, random explosions. Who doesn't love the random boom, the crash, the club blow? I freaking don't, I tell ya. Damn, it's like you never are really safe in Minecraft, are you? You gotta deal with creepers up your backside ready to explode, being in a thunderstorm but not knowing like being in a cave and you're hearing this thunderstorm. 
your bomb ass basement build, you're chilling, right? Explosions are the worst things to hear because you're not like, you know, what was that? You're like, what in God's name was that? Leaving you with some type of worry if it was a mob or just thunder. Or worst case, your buddy tells you not to worry and, they ha and you see them sprinting after you, telling you, hey, you might want to run. Thanks, Cheese King. Going on to number five, horse's death. Yeah, I know, now you guys are probably gonna hate me for this one, but a horse's death. I mean, if you want the goods, you're gonna have to put on your van pelt gear and just muster up the strength. The only difference is we're in the jungle for this one, and we only have a few less animals to deal with. The horse sound is just bad, and you know, you've done something wrong when you killed the horse. They scream to death, and it's like, it, call it animal cruelty really and truly, but I need my materials sometimes, and the horses, they are just in my way. I did feel like a real killer when I slaughtered the baby horse, though. I mean, sh what was I gonna do? Kill his daddy and then he's gonna build up some horse revenge, hit the gym, come looking for my glass house and using his horseshoes and breaks them? Like, you know, actually think about it, I am kind of scared because, you know, I didn't kill the herd. Oops. Going on to number four, Gold breaking in the nether. Okay, now this one doesn't sound bad, right? But hear me out. Last night I was playing and I found a new nether portal with the king cheese. And I go venture deep into this nether. What do I find? Pig men. Pig men. Like, they like gold. Like gold, like gold member. This is where it gets spicy. Connor, AKA the cheese king tells me, you gotta make sure I got gold on. Yo, brother, don't worry. Check it. I got gold, my homie. Don't worry. Not until the hoglins come up and hit me from behind. Yeah, I dealt with them. I slaughtered them. But I hear the chink sound. Helm is broken. But it didn't phase me until I looked up and see a raining pigment, legit raining pigment coming for you know who. And Connor said, yo, you need to leave ASAP. I'm like, yo, my homie, you didn't need to tell me twice. I saw the shower and I'm out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I never ran so fast in my life. Yeah, you breaking gold in the nether. You hear that sound, it's, it's a wrap. Which leads me down to number three, silence. And this one, oh man, it, you know, it's nice to play the game where you can actually hear stuff, but it's the moments when you can't hear anything and silence is just the worst. Y'all know the scary movies or jump scare silence first comes right after the big build up sound? Well, when you're playing Minecraft sometimes, the game just gets so quiet and it makes you even scarier, not even knowing what's coming next. The best part about it is the random silence. So you definitely don't know what you're gonna get you definitely don't know what's coming for you before it's too late. Are you afraid of the dark? I ain't afraid of no ghost, or am I? Which leads me down to say number two, the mood. Following up from silence, the game has an engine called the mood. And I like this aspect because it's the music and the sounds over the whole overworld and underworld change. From the simple walking on ice to hearing some crazy noise in the distance, letting you know that you are getting close, traversing deep in caves, coliseums. Thanks Kat for finding that one. Down to the mob spawners. There are some type of mood for every occasion in this game, which just blew my mind really because it's truly crazy me with my music DJing background from time to time I enjoy a good mood tone and sound in games be it scary or not this definitely takes the cake for one of the top 10 scary sounds and going on to our final Enderman's death we touched on this a little bit before but this is by far number one in my books again for two reasons the enderman is no joke and it is not a force to be messed with and if you know what you're doing then yeah go for it but tell me it's like when you kill one okay they, they squat up on you like you just killed the leader of their gang that you just murdered it's like fam you killed ricky this time we come up to give you the smoke, you feel me? Then you gotta explain what you're doing just to get the clout, the extra content, without looking them in the face. Good luck with that. Number two, remember, I told you guys about the white Enderman, okay? Well, legend or myth or not, if you hear an Enderman's death, not by your own hand, all hell breaks loose and it's scary. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's scary. And even more like death, like you ain't gonna breathe, you just gonna die. Or should I say, you're gonna hear him 
and then you're gonna die. The end, and you know, those were the top 10 scary sounds in Minecraft. And honestly, I might be a little bit biased sometimes, but I'm bringing you guys some stole cold stunner truth, hitting you guys with the people's elbow. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I missed a few. Maybe y'all experienced some noises that I don't even know about. Let us know down below in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Before I go, we may have heard some scary sounds, but look up Pig Step, Lo-Fi Remix, Bonafide Banger. Thank me later. And as a wise man once told me, you gotta champion those who champion you. Crafting Jay or Building Jay, we out.